subscribe ecofan for more educational videos thank you hello everyone my name is dr fayaz ahmed and today we are going to discuss about the citizen science citizen science is a collective effort made by ordinary people like you to contribute scientific research citizen science is also called science for everyone especially citizen science is when the public voluntarily helps conduct scientific research citizen scientists may design experiments collect data analyze results and solve problems so by participating in citizen science projects you get to use your skills and knowledge to help answer scientific questions and all from comfort of your home on your own schedule so how exciting is that in citizen science project everyday people use their phones tablets and personal computers to submit data to scientists everything from identifying like animal species in photographs to helping locate supernova all of it is done by you don't worry if you do not know much about science plenty of projects are available to you as well you don't need to be an expert just enthusiastic and curious in fact some projects can even help you to learn science as you go so with citizen science everyone can can do something to make the world a better place whether it is helping conserve the environment preserving endangered species or simply getting in involved into your community all projects are designed to benefit science and society on top of all that all citizen science projects require volunteer time and commitment but the rewards are more than worth it when you contribute to citizen science you get to experience that thrill of helping and being part of something bigger than yourself last but not least citizen science offers opportunity to get your research recognized network with professionals and potentially make groundbreaking discoveries so what are you waiting for find a citizen science project that interests you and join today with a little hard work and dedication you know what amazing things you can accomplish to discuss about how citizen science works i find this the best way to show the difference in these approaches so here are the three stages or approaches first one is citizen science and experimental stage then science outreach then that is the education or to educate the people then public engagement or to engage the people so citizen science gets people involved in actual science that is at experimental stage uh, in collecting the data making uh, records analyzing directly contributing to the research or finding a new kind of information so here the contribution uh, is important when we talk about the authentic research that is authentically collecting and analyzing the data the second one is the outreach that is uh, demonstrating to the public why science is important so showing how science contributes to the world or demonstrating science in everything why you do uh, research why science fits into the world you hope that people will have learned something new to them although it is it may not be new to science or all for example fun experiments to the kids educational outreach the last one is the public engagement so it is more about getting people to have positive waves uh, of a scientist or a science showing how it is fun cool interesting 
or important or what scientists are really like it is not specifically focusing on teaching uh, specific things but overall getting science uh, or scientists uh, institutions some kind of positive recognition so there are kind of two approaches where we create the projects first is the top-down approach where we have some specific questions from the researchers or the scientists that we uh, go and do research about with the focused kind of objectives second one is the community gives us uh, the questions about and then we go research for them like local waves interested people uh, in this kind of uh, approach low interested people stayed involved and there is bottom-up investigation like the people or the community or the non-scientific people they contribute to the investigations and there are two these two kind of approaches i think this approach bottom up approach is like more exciting or it is more kind of citizen science so this was very brief about the citizen science thank you for watching and learning about the exciting world of citizen science together let's make our world better place thank you mm -hmm.